Hi, I'm Karen Wiener from the New Wheel Electric Bikes in the Bay Area, and I'm joined today by Jeremy Medina, who's worked with me for many years at the shop. Jeremy, thanks for sitting with me. Hi, thanks for having me. Today we're talking about the Gazelle Ultimate T10 Speed, which is Gazelle's new answer to long distance, speedy urban transportation. There's some things that are really obvious about it, like it's bright red and it goes fast, but there are a lot of really cool details too. And that's what we're gonna get into today. Jeremy's spent some time riding the bike around San Francisco in last weeks. So at the new wheel, we're very familiar with uh, Gazelle as a bike brand, but the bikes are different. They're step through, super upright, comfortable city bikes. How is this bike different? Well, it's a total redesign for the American market. Um, it is sportier, it is stiffer, it is faster. However, it still keeps the style and the riding position of a traditional gazelle bike. I'm an aggressive and playful rider, and uh, I like to test the, the limits of the bicycle when I get on one. And this one allowed me to do everything that I really enjoy when I get on a bicycle. So that means getting off curbs, jumping off uh, speed bumps, um, hit corners as fast as I can, playing at lifting up the rear wheel when I stop, even if it's loaded up with bags, and, <laughs> and also go fast. Uh, since it accelerates so, so well, I can easily take my hands off at 25 miles an hour while looking over the side. Uh, Don't tell your boss stuff like this. You're crazy. My boss doesn't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> and keeping riding the bike uh, has been a real pleasure. So this morning to get to work, I rode over the Golden Gate Bridge and uh, I got a few pastries on the way and load it up on there. And uh, I like taking all the side streets as well. There's a little trail that gets to the Golden Gate Bridge. I uh, stopped for a little bit because this morning was really beautiful. Very calm, foggy morning somehow. I wouldn't have enjoyed it that much if I wasn't riding this bicycle. It's interesting. I mean, we visited Gazelle this summer and they have this legacy of over 100 years of bicycle manufacturing. And on this bike, we see that they've taken the frame design to a whole new level. They have a hydroformed a head tube and the whole motor chassis is also uh, super high tech. They, I think they've even won some awards, design awards for this design. Um, and so it really feels as though they're taking their kind of legacy of technical know-how and of cultural know-how to make a bike that is vehicle-like, that is handles well, is fast, and is comfortable, which is really exciting. Absolutely. So they definitely went out of their way uh, to design this bike. Um, when we're talking about the head tube, I can notice, notice the shape of the tapered head tube that allows you to have actually a more, uh, like a really good suspension and a more aggressive riding position. Uh, the bottom bracket allows to get this actually new generation Bosch motor, which ended up being a perfect match for this bicycle. It is fast. Uh, it is more powerful and it's much more appreciated going uphill. Uh, it is also quieter and gives a more familiar ride. Um, that is because we have a bigger chain ring than before. It is in fact a one-to-one -one gear ratio, which ends up giving a better ride feel, a little bit closer to a conventional bike. One aspect that I really enjoy, for instance, is just the sound of it, which is it really feels like I was riding a conventional bike with the first time I hopped on it. What I understand too is that there's actually more sensors inside the motor. So the motor is literally responding in a more sensitive way to your ride inputs, which enhances everything that you just said. Another thing that makes a great ride is that Centauri suspension fork that was designed for e-bikes. Uh, a couple of reasons why it is low maintenance, it has really good performance. Uh, it also accommodates for a fender, which is very unique. Um, and that makes for a very fun ride. It gives a lot of control of the front end of the bike. And it's actually very plush. And the tires um, are wider than what Gazelle ever had on their, on their bikes. This allows to accommodate for longer distances and the streets that we can have here in American cities. So it strikes me that this is a bike that is going to be comfortable for the user. Your mechanic will be fairly happy to work on this bike too. Like the thing that strikes me is little details that are like just make life so difficult for a mechanic like 
chain guard mount on this bike. The chain guard mount, it's burly and serious and a part of the frame, actually. This is something that I've noticed Gazelle always do, is the attention to detail. This bike comes with a lot of very good user perspective features. Uh, it has some sweat back handlebars, a stem that is adjustable to go as high or as low as one would want, very good comfortable ergon grips, four piston hydraulic brakes, uh, helped a lot with control going down all hills. Also it comes with a very nice and discreet chain guard to protect somebody's pants. Um, it has also a very wide gear range with a very good Shimano derailleur, has very crisp shifting that's better for hill climbing and also accommodate for top speed. Of course, built-in lights and fenders, uh, a really good rack that comes with a built-in bungee, and of course, the little cafe lock that comes in very handy almost every day. It looks like the ultimate commuter bike, but how long a commute could you really do on this bike? This bike comes with a 500 watt hour uh, Bosch battery. Uh, one could get somewhere between 20 and 50 miles on one charge. But this bike is dual battery ready and you could very easily have a second battery on the seat tube. On one charge, one person could potentially get up to 100 miles. So Gazelle has been making bikes and e-bikes for Dutch roads for a long time. And now they're making one for our roads. How would you sum up how they've done on that? And who's gonna enjoy riding this bike? This is Gazelle's first serious speed bike. It's a beefed up ride, it is a good looking, and I believe it's a really good commuter bike. This will fit perfectly under somebody who wants from, to go from point A to point B with a lot of fun and get there quickly. The thing that struck me when I got on this bike and rode it is that it looks serious, but it feels fun. And the result is just like super cool, long distance, urban commuter bike. And I feel like everybody should try that. So that's what we do with the new wheel. We do test rides in Larkspur and San Francisco. Come in, test ride this ultimate T10 speed because Gazelle has made an awesome bike for our cities. Merci. Merci. A, a très bientôt. Would you like a croissant? Mmm. <laughs> Sure, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>